Welcome back. Well, I know this next story is one of your absolute favorites, Chuck. Uh, oh, Julia, we had the unique opportunity to visit the Charles W. Howard Santa School in Midland, Michigan. It's a place that's all about the Santa spirit. Last year, just before Christmas, our one boy decided to make my wish come true. My gift was to come to the Charles Howard School for Santa. I was just, I actually cried. <laughs> my name's Bill Neely. I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Check, Santa Claus, come back to me, hello. Hello, I'm Brian Campbell. Hi, I'm Julie Campbell. And we're, we're from, from Bradford, Redford, Michigan. Michigan. Oh, hi. My name is Jeff or Jeffrey Elliott. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. How long have you folks been here? Hi, I'm Nate Mitchell. I'm from Redford, Michigan, and this is my first year of being Santa. Hello, my name is Tom Valent. And this is the Charles W. Howard Santa Claus School. Tom, I gotta tell you. This is by far Merry Christmas. the most fun thing we've been a part of. Thank you for having us here. Glad to have you, Chuck. Glad to have you. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. And it's just such joy that I see out of your students. So be good for goodness sakes. I guess you notice that as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why we're here. We, we like the Santa spirit. And my job is to build that Santa spirit. Santa Claus is coming to town. I liked the saying, Santa doesn't come through the chimney, comes through the heart. Yeah, now that was by Charlie Howard. He started the Santa school in 1937. Celebrating our 83rd year. They have to be Santa in the true sense of the meaning, to always stay in character. But they're not the real Santa. The real Santa is a Santa spirit. What I want to do is try and be the best Santa that I can be. Yes! Styling my hair, makeup. We don't need any of this, because we've got our own this. You know, putting on the suit. That is Santa. But not just that, but carrying the responsibility of, of, of this position, of this persona. I am more than excited about bringing joy to the little children out here. We need some joy out here. And <laughs> I'm the one that's going to bring it to them. Oh, you bet. <laughs> yeah, that was rotten. Feel your whole chest and belly just oh, ha, ha. stick them right out there. And, <sighs> just have a nice laugh and turn it into a hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty darn good, Chuck. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 is it that your Santas get out of being Santa? They stand for love and giving. <laughs> By them giving, they get so much more back. Not in dollars, but they get those smiles on the mom's face, the smiles on the kid's face. That is priceless stuff. We can live off that most well-known character in the world, Santa Claus, and pick up that great spirit and spread it at Christmas time. 
the joy behind the mask. Yes. And we're looking forward to going back uh, to the school next year. Well, do people go more than once? This is this something that they do every year? Yes. In fact, some of the students have been there literally for decades, <laughs> Julia, which is really cool. In fact, speaking of the students, we also recently caught up with one of the graduates spreading Christmas cheer right here in Indianapolis. We talked about his plans to return. First of all, every single one of those Santas there, their hearts are just enormous. And the people that put on the school, Tom and, and Holly and their entire family, are just wonderful, caring people. And I couldn't be happier and more proud to sit there and be a part of that school. It's like a family reunion. And, and I just want to be part of that. He looks familiar. He is. That's Jeff Elliott. Uh, Santa Jeff Elliott, who spent Christmas at Sullivan Hardware this year, along with two other Santa School graduates. Well, we've got more to come, Julia. Stay with us.